oogenesis in this class we are discuss we are discussing oogenesis what is oogenesis oogenesis is a type of gametogenesis oogenesis is a type of gametogenesis it is it is the process of production of female gamete or ovum inside ugonia now again i repeat that oogenesis is a part of gametogenesis so the production of ovum in the female reproductive system the process of production of female reproductive system that is female gamete inside ugonia is called oogenesis in simplest term as it is written oogenesis is the process of production of female gamete or ovum inside ugonia it is one of the processes of gamete gametogenesis so ovum is female gamete now coming to define ugonia single is singular is ugonium so ugonia is the structure present in female reproductive system which synthesize and produce ovum or female gamete as we know the male uh, in case of uh, male the gamete is called sperm and in case of female the gamete is known as ovum now the primary sex organ in case of female uh, is ovary a pair of ovaries are present now coming to the process of oogenesis or the steps of oogenesis we can say the process of oogenesis is almost totally different from spermatogenesis so the process of production of sperm and process of production of ovum is very different why because most of the steps of oogenesis occur before the birth of a female child during embryonic development okay now in another words we can say during embryonic development the female gamete mother cells formed are called ugonia that's the another term so steps of oogenesis many steps as i was saying many steps of oogenesis is occurs before uh, the birth of female child that is during embryonic stage now i can say the steps of oogenesis very easily ugonia first is ugonia that develops or from ugonia primary oocytes are formed during oogenesis first primary oocytes gets surrounded by primary follicle so next one primary oocytes gets surrounded by 
primary follicle so primary follicle is synthesized then just a moment development of secondary follicle development of secondary follicle then the next step is maturation maturation of primary oocytes then and then development of tertiary follicle just a moment development of tertiary follicle these are the structures formed one by one after the tertiary follicle is formed then secondary oocytes is synthesized or developed then secondary oocyte then the primary follicle develops into tertiary sorry the tertiary follicle develops into graphene follicle tertiary follicle develops converts into converts into graphene follicle after that development of zona pellucida or we can say creation of zona pellucida next step graphene follicle follicle burst and release and release secondary oocyte or it's better to say ovum now let us discuss these steps in detail so ugonia during the embryonic development stage during the embryonic stage each uh, ugonia enters into the meiotic stage and during prophase 1 of meiotic division they get temporarily arrested this during this stage so the ugonia are made up of cells these cells enter into the prophase 1 of meiotic division and get temporarily arrested this type of cells are called primary oocytes so what is primary oocyte so we here we can write enter prophase one of meiosis and stops stops or get arrested in this in this stage which is called 
which forms primary oocyte. Now primary oocyte gets surrounded by surrounded by granulosa cells. Granulosa cells. This structure is called primary so the uh, what to say primary oocyte when they get surrounded by granules of cells they form primary follicle now these primary follicles few a large number de uh, degenerate during the phase from birth to puberty in female child only uh, after puberty 60 thousand to eighty thousand primary follicles left in each ovary then again primary uh, follicles get surrounded by more layers of granulosa cells and it develops into secondary follicles so get surrounded by more layers of granulosa cells this develop into secondary follicle now the secondary follicle once the secondary fo follicle form then um, they transform soon into tertiary follicle here uh, I uh, forgot to write here tertiary follicle develop Meant development of tertiary follicle. So once tertiary follicle is formed, the primary oocyte inside it also develops further, and um, the the primary oocyte get completes uh, its uh, what to say. It completely matures and complete the first mitotic, meiotic, sorry, meiotic division. So the once tertiary follicle form, then the primary oocyte matures and completes first mitotic division. As a result, haploid secondary oocytes are formed. Okay, here I have written maturation, then uh, development of tertiary follicle okay I have written I have not not missed okay after that secondary oocyte is formed after that what happens along with secondary oocyte tiny first polar body is also formed then what happens the secondary oocyte retains uh, the bulk of nutrient rich, uh, rich cytoplasm of primary oocyte as the secondary oocyte develops it gets surrounded by further layers okay and uh, the secondary oocyte so the tertiary follicle gets converted to graphene follicle as you can see so tertiary follicle gets converted to graphene follicle then it is surrounded uh, by the secondary oocyte is further surrounded by a membrane which is called zona pellucida after that the graphene follicle ruptures and it releases secondary oocyte or ovum and this process from the ovary this process is called ovulation so again if we go through it ugonia enters first prophase of meiosis and um, gets attacked in at, uh, arrested in this stage it forms primary oocyte it gets a uh, primary oocyte gets surrounded by granulosa cell forms primary follicle again gets surrounded by more layers of granulosa cell secondary follicle secondary follicle transform into transform into tertiary follicle then inside the tertiary follicle primary oocytes mature and they complete first meiotic division so haploid 
haploid secondary oocytes are formed haploid secondary oocytes are formed and the secondary oocyte is present in tertiary follicle this tertiary follicle further gets converted to graphene follicle and the secondary oocyte inside the graphene follicle is surrounded by a membrane called zona pellucida Now, after this the graphene follicle bursts and it releases secondary oocyte or ovum it releases secondary oocyte or ovum and this process is called process is called ovulation now what is antrum here we you can see antrum is when secondary follicle term transform into tertiary follicle it is filled by a fluid filled cavity so fluid filled cavity present in tertiary follicle is called antrum now zona pellucida i explained 